Hello everyone, this is Seattle I Love. I'm here with my friend Duncan. Hello. And we are going to have Tin Tin Ryu uh, ramen today. And um, I'm super excited, I'm a big lover of ramen. I'm also a big lover of ramen. And uh, this place just recently opened up. It's a sister restaurant for their main restaurant in Kyoto, Japan. Uh, so uh, let's go have some ramen. I'm excited. Yeah. So we got some Ozeki Nigori ramen, uh, <laughs> ramen, sake. It's unfiltered sake. It's very delicious. Um, has a nice um, milkiness to it, as a good unfiltered sake should. Um, yeah, and I'm going to get a little wasted now. <laughs> Come by. This is the, you know, like with wine, you're doing bricks, sugar levels, and stuff like that, but you don't have that with the rice. All right, we just got our food, and we have a wonderful representative of the restaurant who's going to tell us about it. Okay, so this is a Kyoto style of ramen. It's never than traditional Japanese ramen because it's a python broth. So it's not a pork tongue katsu broth, and python means um, chicken. It's very light and low sodium. So if you want to add more flavor, you can add our ramen pork oil. Ooh, oh, okay. And traditional way they eat this in Kyoto is they eat half of it, how the chef prepares, and the other half they add the toppings. And the toppings are pickled ginger, this is tagarashi, a common spice, white pepper, soy sauce, and then crushed red pepper. So what did you say this was again? Pork oil. So most places, when they use the pork broth that is put in the, they boil the bones down and they don't skim the fat off. So we keep that separate. So it's kind of a healthier one. Okay, cool. Yeah. Sounds amazing. All right, enjoy. All right, thank, thank you. you. You're welcome. We're going to get our slurp on. Yeah. <laughs> we just had a complimentary sake tasting. Yeah. We oh. got a, um, a non-distilled sake right there, right? Yep. And then we got a very dry sake. Yeah, Chumai dry. Chumai dry. And then we have this one in the middle between the two, and we don't know the name, uh, but it is extremely delicious. Yeah. And so now we have a 10 ounce bottle of sake that we ordered and several other shots. So, um, all right, Coming Duncan, in. what'd you get? Uh, I got the house ramen uh, with bean sprouts on the side. I got uh, the pork back in pepper flakes in it to start. Uh, and um, I'm pretty excited, that's it. Yeah, and I got the, um, also got the house ramen, but I had the ajotima, I'm sorry, oh, I murdered it. The ajitama added to it, that's the egg. And I got it extra rich with the pork fat and um, some black garlic oil. Uh, I'm gonna dig in and start slurping. Mm. This is really good. Mm. Yeah, I can really taste like a different kind of broth. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is a chicken broth, as you said. And I have to say, I actually like the lighter flavor. Mm. So we're uh, gonna follow the waitress's advice and doctor our noodles. Now that it's about halfway through, we've got pork juice, we've got spicy flakes, we've got pickled ginger, white pepper, which I don't always think of, and then soy sauce kind of is this last idea. So far, I'm excited for there to be like this pork juice that we put back into the broth. It's been like really nice to eat. Clean, simple tasting broth. Uh, so I'm excited to see kind of what this flavor puts back into it. I'm gonna do the same. I am gonna start over here with oh. some. Oh, oh. Yeah. I don't know what's an appropriate amount. We're gonna learn. I'm gonna add red pepper into mine first because I like the spice. Hey. 
and then I'm gonna add this pork juice. I also do not know what an appropriate amount is. And what's this? Oh, chili pepper. Yes. All right. Let's see what happens. Duncan mix that up. He'll get his initial reactions as to what he thinks. Oh, look at that. That's really tasty. Mmm, the fat, put the fat back into it. Uh-huh. And it's like fat now, it's into like a rich sauce status. Fantastic. All right. I'm gonna make mine a little spicier. All right, so I've added all my bits to it. Now I'm mixing it up. Let's see here. Mmm, you're right. And a little bit of that fat back to it. I mean, it was great before. It's equally great now. But, um, yeah, this is just great. This is delicious ramen. Mm. So I'm like a third grader in front of this. So I want to test just what the flavor of this uh, pork magic is. So I'm, gonna, I'm just going to enjoy a little pork magic directly in my spoon. A little more pork magic, come on. Just a little more pork magic. <clears throat> wow, that's really tasty. It's like rich and salty bone flavor. It's everything you expect from pork. Mm, it's like everything I want from like a pork injection, yeah. Nice. Flavor even for being over there. So I finished mine and I have emptied my bowl as what Duncan is doing now. Mm. Uh, so, awesome meal. I very much enjoyed it. Yeah, I can't, oh, I wanna come back. Not, not drunk, how do I like full and not drunk? That's oh, right, you, but... you are not full. Well, you are full and you are not drunk. I'm full and not drunk. All right, you ready? No. Okay. Well, we just finished our meal. It was delicious. Mm -hmm. Uh, I really much enjoyed the chicken-based broth, the Kyoto style. Um, it was about $15 each, and that includes the sake and uh, our base ramen and our little add-ons. And then, you know, they gave us samples of sake, so... I, know, I can't turn that down. I'm, I'm not going to turn that down. So, uh, yeah, overall, uh, I give this... Um, oh, so you don't know, Krista and I... Every time we rate something, we use something that we ate, and then we use that as the rating system. This so one, we'll see you a certain amount of- So, uh, out of bowls of ramen. Out of bowls of ramen. What would you rate that? It's a 4.3, 4 .4. Out of 10? No. No, it's out of 10. And just, you just changed these. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, 8.7. Yeah. High rating. Yeah, I also agree. I'll give it a solid nine bowls of ramen out of 10. My help was I allowed like a portion of a bowl of ramen? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. It, Krista like splits and divides. Oh, okay. yeah. I split and divide too. All right, well, this has been the Seattle I to Love. Try and ramen. So we'll catch y'all next time. Bye. Thank you for enjoying this video. Please feel free to join us on one of our many other adventures.